I'd like to bring down Jeffrey Nutter. Yeah. Jeffrey, I just want to ask you real quick. It says you have a degree from San Francisco State, is that right? Yeah. I fucking love San Francisco. I lived out there. What? How long did you live out there? Three years. Three years. And where do you live now? Uh, I live in New York. Well, in Iowa City. Nice. You live in New York and Iowa City. What? Do you ever just wake up in the middle of the night and wish you were in the Tenderloin just drinking Sorry. beer and buying crap? I do. I do. I'm <laughs> not buying crap. I mean, no. Like smoking dope outside and not getting arrested. I like the Tenderloin. It's good enough. I'm just fucking out at Ocean Beach. That's cool. I had a dream. I'll just tell you real quick. I had a dream. I had a birthday party out at Ocean Beach and everybody was giving me speed for my birthday party and then we all went into the camera obscura and looked at the constellations. And that was a neat dream. Jeffrey, thank you for coming out tonight. Thanks for being here. And I'm going to just give you the mic. And God bless you. down to the shore of displeasure. <laughs> where I was splashed by the ocean. This big moat keeping me from the citadel of paradise fizzed, splished, and paraphrased itself most arrogantly most aggregately. The sky was a giant fond de siècle Ferris wheel. <laughs> Dismantled and strewn about for removal. Why did the ocean splash me? <laughs> Are you angry or annoyed? old man of canticles, of barnacles? <sighs> Have your oracles been reworked in Oslo format for the new well-wishers and the tamaracks? You've soaked the sacks of cornmeal in the palaces and performed or had performed for you the mask of Robespierre bedizened by the sea spray. I will nap then on the swaying hammock of the revolution, hung between the slender palms the proletariat of coconuts offering their silver water all around me. <laughs> the grail machined to sate the common thirst of the common man. The common man grail for geraniums. Under the stone bridge of Lion Sultan, past the swans, we floated in this small boat. Even the new leaves are steeped in cold dew, cold and sweet as the new day. I'm sorry, but we distrust your talk of a future. We live now, and live as brothers, and live as lovers. We don't understand our impulse, nor the cloud, nor the color of the leaf, nor the grail, nor the cloud nor the cloud, <laughs> nor do we thirst for the wine of rebellion, or give them the vinegar of comfort, nor begrudge them their privileges, the busmen's pop opera. We are strong as longshoremen, and as simple, and as horrible, and as brave, and as fearful. Yeah. Cheer? I like that. I like that. I like that. <laughs> That's why That's why you're in a bar is a good thing. Because I'm gonna 
don't know. Like one more poem? Two more poems. Yeah. It has been noted <clears throat> that man is a reed. <laughs> or a thinking reed. <laughs> but I would add <laughs> that he is more like a glockenspiel or a kimono. And if I had the presence of mind, unlike the gesticulant grasses that I am, or at least resemble, I might note how the wind is grinding the grain in a mill in Alfoxton. The long, weird plumage of the lyrebird is lyrical and rainbow-colored, though its colors blend in flight like the sky does for gestaltists. When it looms above a rooftop, he's not a proto-martyr, Crispus Attux, ox blood fire for the candles, nor vacant like a cell shop legalese, the larval glaze that balms a spikelet of grasses, a larval issuant upon a coat of arms, a mind, a stone in the midst of a cold, rushing stream in the mountains. Okay, last poem. Mr. Greenglass. I think I'm learning how to write a poem. <laughs> yes. But then, pretty soon, it seems I forget. How is this so? While well, microflora... song thought, like water-milled green apricots in January, Mr. Greenglass sells his steel for sea foam, for freshwater cinnamon, and the trains of yellow metal that have brought them here past the northern gate of the sun, and they pass by Christopher City. And I have been among the men who can be seen beside the river at midday, drinking bottles of beer by the water, in the sunlight, living in the present. is going to be the greatest night of everyone's lives. Uh, it's already on its way. It's already on its way. I just want to say real quick, with all the silence here in the Fox Head, it's, I had a memory of getting in a diesel truck a minute ago when I could hear the goddamn fucking refrigerators here. It sounds like a diesel truck all started up and just, it's 20 degrees or negative 20 degrees, you just are leaving the racetrack and all your horses got last place and you got to get in the goddamn truck and drive back to Kentucky. What a fucking nightmare that is. Yeah. Jeffrey, make with the poem. I'm fucking failing up here, man. You don't want to hear about losing racehorses and diesel trucks and shit. They want to hear about bicycles and shit that doesn't pollute the planet. Okay. Yeah. They want to hear about racehorses. Thank you. Thank you. Well, all right. Um, the purpose of a poem uh, <laughs> is to say something in a way 
This is not like the intersection, this is the poem. <laughs> <laughs> the purpose of a poem is to say something in a way that sounds so natural that it need never have been said. Or at least more natural. I don't think. Uh, was never said. <laughs> How about if I I'll sing the poem? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay. You can see us from so far away. You can see us near as silver or the sun. You can see us blind with joy and seeing everything around us. This bridge poised in the dazzling sun like scissors. And we hold one another's lives in our hands like scissors. I believe the city not yet visible exists, and I believe the city unbelievable exists. We are racing past the salt trucks, beneath the green mass of the sky. We are aloft between landforms and their shadows. We are nowhere. And now you can see the white buildings coming through the haze. They can be seen from miles away like a cloud. But the Great Wall can be seen from space. We all can be seen from space. Thank you. Yeah! Do not leave this bar. Do not go anywhere else. Drink Kentucky basketball. <laughs>